Well, well, well. Welcome back. Um, I said from the very beginning that when I was going to do these, that I was going to start drawing uh, cartoons from uh, my books, from my cartoons in the past. I'll probably go back and revisit a lot of cartoons that I drew um, as a child um, or as a teenager. And um, cartoons which have changed a lot, or I'd, I would probably be able to do them differently now. One of the things I like to do is on my Facebook uh, page for my writing, so Kit Major Jack Union Cox, if you want to go to Facebook and look that up, I often uh, say, hey, I'm feeling a bit bored today, um, I want to do some drawing. Um, so I'm going to take something from there today. So it, it should be um, fairly easy to find something that's been suggested in the past, um, but once I do, I'll have a go at that. So I think um, this this is the way we go, isn't it? So over to the Cartoon Graveyard. See you there. Ahoy, ahoy. Welcome to the Cartoon Graveyard. So what I'm going to do tonight is I'm going to draw a cartoon um, based on a suggestion that's been sent in by someone that's not me. Um, so... Generally, I'm going to be drawing from my own books, um, my own experiences. Um, but uh, in in a lot of cases, that's that's not going to be the case. Um, there we go. Had to fire it up for a second. So generally, that's not going to be the case. Um, I'm going to come from suggestions that you guys have come up with. Now, this one was uh, from Tees Fleming, um, and uh, Tease Fleming, I, I threw out um, a request for ideas from people, uh, pictures that they had drawn, and I was going to just have another crack at drawing them as well. So it was things that people had drawn um, and um, wanted to see redrawn. So for me, it was... Um, I thought it would be a lot of pictures that people had drawn when they were children, but obviously I I missed out on that. I did um, I, I instantly there we go that's a better line. Uh, I instantly got loads of pictures from people that were that were very very competent artists. Um, however, well they drew, drew they were competent. They were just generally competent. And uh, it was fantastic to see that so many people that follow my art styles um, have an art style all of their own. Now, for most people, um, I managed to to give them my take on there. There was a couple of manga things. I'm not really into manga. Um, not in that kind of way. I mean, I, I enjoy it. Um, I would say Studio Ghibli... Um, is is more my kind of jam in the manga fields and actually uh, Death Note and things like that. So I I, I enjoy um, Spirited Away. Um, I enjoy My Neighbor Totoro. It's just absolutely divine. Um, but for me, I think Howl's Moving Castle is probably one of the the greatest things that um, Studio Ghibli has ever produced. Anyway. As I said, I was asked to do lots of different styles, um, and I tried drawing it in, in people's own style. Um, and by drawing it in people's own style, I, I was very quick to realise that, do you know what, I, I'm probably going to be doing these things a disservice, because everybody's style was already so good. Um, I should have been drawing it in my own style, and giving it a bit more of a tweak. Now, one of the ones I couldn't do any justice to at all was t the wonderful Tees Fleming. She uh, she sent me a picture, um, as I'm sure you're starting to be aware, of a mermaid. Now, I'm smacking my lips a lot. I do apologise for anyone that hates smacking of lips. I just realised I haven't had a cup of tea for a while, so if anyone wants to pop around with a cup of tea, that would be lovely. Um, but Tees Fleming had drawn this most beautiful, beautiful mermaid. Um, and um, one of the things you often find with mermaids is that 
they they don't they're generally drawn for titillation um even people that don't think they are they've they've got a definite feel of this has been drawn for the enjoyment of a beautiful swimming lady generally in the buff um and uh, enjoying being in the sea um but Tisis wasn't like that Tisis was was a was a picture that that conjured up something for me that I thought I can't I can't do anything for this 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 picture's got more going for it than I can than I can give because for people that don't know, mermaids are mentioned in the Bible. Now, I don't know if Tisa was working on this. Right? I'm not a religious man, not in that respect. Um, but mermaids are mentioned in the Bible, and her mermaid was praying. It was absolutely stunning um, as, as pictures went. Now, I'm trying to get... Tisa had this beautiful flowing hair. Now, her hair... Her, picture was super realistic it wasn't a cartoon at all so a cartoon is never going to do justice to the picture that was submitted for my redoing and I, f I feel bad because it was one of those things I asked people send me a picture but I didn't say hey send me a picture and I'm going to draw it better that was never my intention my intention was always to send me a picture and I will do as 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 well as I can um, with my style. Now, I, there was nothing I could do with this. It, it was it was a beautiful picture. But now when I'm looking at, at things, I generally have a crack at everything that people send me. Um, and I didn't with Tees. I just turned around and said, this is already wonderful. There's nothing I can do with this. Suggesting that I was trying to fix the other pictures. I wasn't. Um, I was. I was doing pictures, of my style to those pictures. Now, as I said, what was wonderful about Tisa's picture was the fact that it was this beautiful saintly image of a praying mermaid um, her eyes were cast heavenward um, her lips were subjugated subjugated is that the right word subjugated in prayer can you be subjugated who knows please please feel free to tell me in the comments if you can be subjugated in prayer um, I try and use lots of big words when I talk but every now and again <laughs> I'll get to one and go yeah, I, I've clearly got no idea what that word actually means, um, and now I'm using it in a conversation which will be recorded for prosperity forever. Um, I have clearly lost the plot. As you can see, I'm going to be zooming in and out of this picture, which is a different style to the way I've drawn in the past. But um, these are all going to be fairly quick. Um, none of them are going to have the greatest style. I kind of gave her a. I looked like she was wearing a top as opposed to. There's no definition. I don't know what that line is there. So let's uh, let's remove that line. We don't we don't need that line there. She's. Uh, and we're going to give her some abs because. See, swimming, if you've ever picked a fish up, if you've ever gone fishing, you'll know that the swimming muscles of fish are stunning. Um, you, can, you can see the muscles through everything. Um, as I said, she was, she, she was offering a prayer up to heaven. I, I don't think, that I, I more than likely have read far too much into this. Um, and... Uh, this is her offering a prayer up to heaven. Her eyes are open. That that's just weird. I don't know what I'm doing with this face here. Let's have a um a crack. There we go. That's better. 
Now, in cartoons, you're never going to get you're never going to get a perfect look, but you can get as near as damn it. Her hair, if I remember rightly, I'm not got the picture here for reference. I should have should have grabbed a picture for reference, but it's one of those things that's it's just kind of played on my mind a little bit. Let's give us some some definition around here and whoosh, whoosh, get this little bit of of the tide moving her around because she seems quite thin in the face which is which was nice um I'm gonna, I think this hair needs to there we go that's better that's better for a cartoon so um now i'm just going to give a little tweak because she's got to be mermaid like and as far as i'm concerned if you're if you're a fish you're not going to have you're not going to have a perfect nostril you're going to have more fish nostrils i'm taking this out because it's just suddenly occurred to me that she's got a neck very very thin um Soon we're going to get to a bit where I'm going to have to stop and colour it for you. Um, now the original picture wasn't coloured, so I might try and pay homage to that by by maybe just giving a kind of a wash to the picture. She was looking up. See, now this is becoming less cartoony and very very serious. Um, there we go. Let's give some darkness in there. There. Oh, she's quite drawn. She was beautiful before. Oh, I feel like I feel like I've done her a disservice. Let's uh, let's widen her face a little bit out and uh, and enjoy enjoy her face as it is. Right. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go away. I'm going to let's just zoom this out for you so you can see see her in all her beauty so it's quite simplistic it was quite a simplistic picture there were a few scales but uh through the beauty of the art of the internet wham let's color this boom and there she is without me bothering up your screen as well anymore so there you go a uh, very very pious mermaid i hope you've enjoyed this as much as i have another another denizen to move into the cartoon graveyard and uh was fun to draw please go to my facebook page as if that's kit major jack union cox on Facebook and uh, you'll see the original drawing which was absolutely stunning um, and really didn't need to be reworked by a cartoonist but there you go I've enjoyed it hope you have too so there you go T. Fleming and her uh, amazingly pious mermaid um, uh, one of those great things about something like that uh, wonderful King James Bible um, where there are satyrs and unicorns and mermaids uh, all just just up there with everybody else uh, being very religious and, and wonderful and in God's good graces so if you don't believe in monsters just check your bible I think they're in there too so um, thanks very much thank you for coming to the Cartoon Graveyard um, and uh, that was our, our latest recruit um, hope to see you soon Bye-bye.